Awesome. The next uh, presenter is uh, me, so I will start uh, sharing my screen. So I will be talking about biomapping highlights from the first season science week. And uh, this biomapping activity, sorry. Uh -huh. So this biomapping activity was carried out around four states, Bauchi, Plateau, which is Jos, and Niger, Mina, and Chigao states between uh, 23rd to 2nd October last month. And uh, over this period, I was able to photograph over 332, uh, I was able to shoot over 332 photographs of different species. And uh, of course, most of these observations were done during the Ariwa Atlas team, uh, uh, Atlas exercise, where we covered 100 pentads. And uh, very soon that report will be published and I will be more than happy to share with you. So the vegetation type, of course, Northern Nigeria is Sudan Savannah. And the most of the vegetation type is Cicacia, which is a uh, Vachelia species, African mahogany, uh, African locust bean and uh, sheet tree. And uh, the landscape type is homogeneous, uh, heterogeneous, mountainous, rocky outcrops, streams, farmlands, woodlands, and wetlands. And uh, this was uh, during the first season science week, and uh, which uh, offers an opportunity to biomap biodiversity as much as possible. Although we know that we go out for biomapping every day, every time, but this uh, season science week aims to map biodiversity as much as possible within a short period of time. And the central goal is to create species distribution map. And why do we need that? It's key to conservation education and policy decision making. So just uh, to share with you some of the beautiful habitats uh, I had been during the biomapping uh, activity or at last. So this is a, 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 a river and this is a, a mountain. You can see our car parked here. So you can see, uh, I think the uh, highest altitude I measure is about 860 meters elevation. So it was quite a nice place. It's rocky outcrops. You can see I, uh, here I was able to biomap about five species of dragonflies. Of course, some I don't know the name. I don't know the species. But they are already on virtual museum for identification. So starting with the lepi map, this is a uh, Leobel de Yellow. Yugrami Hikade, um, Mylotris Chloris, Alos Ismenius, and uh, of course this one, this is, uh, it was the first time for me to biomap it, and uh, Mylotris Chloris, and this is Genonia uh, Corumene, and bottom right is Eurema uh, Bigita, Bigita, broad bordered grass yellow, and this is Calotis Deni, and uh, Scarlet Tip, and this is uh, Danaus Crassicus, one of the most common species in, uh, in the savanna, African plain tiger. And of course, this is a uh, uh, guinea fowl, the only member in the genus Hamanumida. Still on butterflies, this is a uh, Teltinia serena, Genonia orithia, Madagascariensis, also is one of the most common butterflies around, and the Melanitis leda, and also this uh, Telopidas uh, matthias. Uh, it's also one of the common species we see around. And uh, again, Prisis antelope is also Daka Komodo, it's one of the species around. And uh, this species is uh, also the first uh, time I biomap it. And of course, one of the most common species around Catopsilla florella. And uh, I wasn't very sure, this one, I biomap this in Mina. I wasn't very sure about the species, but I think it's, uh, it's a, it's a, cal a calotis. Species. Uh, just quickly interject, it's a male of Apis apophia, the African okay. albatross. Okay, you can help me uh, drop the name in the I'll chat I'll box. I'll drop the name in the chat for you. Yeah, thank you. So still on the uh, on the butterflies, uh, this is a uh, vine leaf background, Eronia cleodora, and this is the upper side, and uh, you can see the, uh, this is the upper side, and this is the underside, and this is orange tip calotis yupe. This is the upper side, and this is the uh, uh, bottom side. Uh, bottom right 
is a hypolysina plus, and this is a African grass blue, Ziziria canisna. And uh, yeah, we have the Poxy Empero, Caraxis epigasius. This is the upper side, and this is the uh, bottom side. They are all quite uh, beautiful and uh, you know uh, amazing species. So quickly on bed pitch, this is a uh, fox kestrel, greenwood hoopo, northern black fly catcher, beautiful sunbed from plateau, and a uh, gray-headed kingfisher. Uh, Goslings bunting was uh, one of the most common species we have been um, biomapping because uh, the area is rocky outcrop. So you know wherever you go, you just see them and you hear the calls. And uh, northern eater chat. The beauty around a wetland uh, bed. Northern red bishop, red neck buzzard, juvenile, and uh, crested lark, uh, fox tail drongo, and bottom right is pied kingfisher around the wetland area, and western plantain eater, village indigo bed, and uh, one of the intra African migrants, Abdin Stop. Uh, we, we saw uh, just a few, so mostly they have uh, moved to southern parts and uh, eastern parts of the continent. So I think I, I, I saw only five individuals throughout the period. So on the, on the NATO map, this is Portia Widow. And uh, I'm not sure whether this is uh, a female or the same species or a different species. And this is a uh, Kibis dropwing, the same species with this one. And uh, I think this is Otetrum species. I'm not very sure. That's why I didn't put the names. And uh, I also think this is Paragompus species. I'm not very sure. And uh, I don't know whether this belongs to the genus uh, Brachytemis. I'm not sure. And uh, also this one, I'm not very sure about the idea of this one. So I let them plank. Again, we are on Odanata map. This is Northern Banded Groundling, one of the most species, common species we see around. And uh, I'm thinking this is a uh, Diplocodus luminous Babet Pacha, but I'm not sure. Also, this one, I'm not sure about this one. And again, this one, I think it is uh, Tetrum brachial, but I'm not sure too. Uh, I have collected some, you know, what I'll say maybe I can just say maybe new species to me, which I'm not very sure. And of course, this uh, damsel flies, I'm not sure about their name, but I think this one is a, a springtail. So what about the reptile maps? I saw just a few. I think this is Agama Paragama, West African tree Agama, and this is Agama Agama, and uh, this is Triclepis concretaniata, African five-line uh, skink, and this is uh, Teta Mobuya, and uh, this is also Teta Mobuya. I think this is the male, the reddish one is the male, and this one uh, the female. So I collected quite a lot of mushroom species, but uh, this is, I think this is one of the general uh, problem we are having on virtual museum. We have very few experts that can help with the identifications. Uh, as you can see, there is no name attached to all of these species. And these two, they are quite huge. They are quite huge. You can see these two boots. They are 44, so the size is 44, but we can see how they appear close to the mushroom. They are quite huge. They are quite huge. Also, on the mushrooms, these are some of the beautiful species I collected. So on the tree map, I also collected a lot of uh, uh, species. Uh, so top are some of the species uh, I know I'm quite familiar with. This is Tamarindus indica, and this is Bor uh, Borassus ethiopum. And this is uh, the Tarium senegalense, and this is uh, African locust bean, Pachia bibulobosa. And uh, bottom right here is Costus uh, spectabilis. It's a Nigerian national plant, which is quite rare these days. And uh, it was the first time for me to see it in the wild. I, if I remember well, uh, a few years ago, there was an expedition to, to locate this plant in the wild, but uh, there was no uh, positive result. But uh, uh, I was uh, privileged to see it in the wild. So I biomap it despite the fact that it is not tree, but I think the record is important. So I biomap it under the tree map. At least we know that it exists and we know the location. And these are some of the species that I have collected. I don't know. 
there are quite a lot I have already biomarked them. So for the pond project, the Wibam nest, I, these are some of the nests I biomark. This is a village weaver. I'm not very sure about this one, bottom right. And this is, of course, for Bipeline uh, Max Weaver. And these two, I'm not very sure about uh, their ID2. Then for the spider map, I biomark these two uh, uh, records. Uh, they are all golden upweb spider and Nepilia, but I'm not sure about the species, but they are. They belong to this genus, Nepila species. This one from uh, Mina, Niger, and this one from Bauchi. But you can see the difference. This one is having some yellow coloration, and this one red. I don't know whether it is a uh, sexual dimorphism, whether this is male uh, or female, you know, the same uh, sex species. I don't know. So for the prog map, unfortunately, I was able to map only sing a single record of, uh, of Lobatracus hospitalis from, from around Guaram in Jigao State. And uh, some of the conservation concern I have seen is, you know, logging activities because, because the area is, uh, uh, is thick, there are some remnants of forest around. So there is quite uh, logging activities going on with the machine. And uh, also charcoal making is also a serious problem and also killing of trees by the locals for coal wood is also a serious problem. And uh, here comes to the end of my presentation and at this uh, point I need to acknowledge the Nigerian Atlas project for logistical support because uh, most of these observations and biomapping were done during the Ariwa Atlas uh, exercise concluded last month. Thank you. So the floor is open for questions and uh, comments. Uh, thank, thank you, Ringham. That was really amazing. I'm always <laughs> amazed yeah. to see how much you, you find out there. And it's, and it's really great to see how passionate you are about, mm -hmm. about mapping all these various things. And, and you always try to, to map at least one thing from each project in the virtual museum. So that's really cool. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. So I don't know if there is any contribution, especially on the Odanata map. Can you just go back? Ah, there you go. Um, Let you map? No, 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 Odanata map. I'm also very interested in dragonflies. Okay. Um, that one with the bicolored Terastigma. This one? Uh, yeah, that, the one of the, uh, the second, no, uh, not that one, but the, the one at the bottom, um, second to the right, uh, just to the okay, right yeah. of the right there. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, an interest, that's an interesting one. It's not a, it's, it's not a, it's not a widow. Um, yeah. I'm not too sure. We get one down here, and I, I can't remember offhand what it's called, um, but it's, a, it's one that I didn't see for years and all of a sudden we found them swarming in Zululand. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, little dragonfly. It's one of the same group. Uh, I'm just trying to find the thing here. Pied spot. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. It's an African pied spot female. Okay. You can help me drop your name in the chat box. Hemi, hemi, hemi stigma, hemi stigma oh. or, or maybe it's something in you know, the same genus. I don't know. Maybe, but it's certainly. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. And, the, and that paragonphus looks mm. very like very like a rock hooktail. I actually photographed one myself at the weekend in our local our local nature reserve. Oh well, yeah, it's in the post. It is, yeah, it is a it is a it is a para, paragonphus. Okay. Um, so again, just going go, going through my little book here. Um, here we go, rock hooktail. Uh, yeah, it looks very like very like the male rock cocktail that I got at the okay. weekend. And the rest all way tonight. Yeah. And I okay. agree I agree about the Porchy Widow, that's a female. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. This one, top uh, second. Yeah, top second left, yeah. yeah. Okay, female. Oh, good. Yeah. Good stuff. Brilliant. Yeah. I just finished typing that name actually. But uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank you.